as you get ready to um, hip here to shave, we're thinking that we need this to be in the um, the fourth intercostal space on either side of the sternum, which is going to be right there. Um, if you reach up here, you're able to feel kind of a divot in, and the next one you come to is the second intercostal space, third intercostal space, and fourth intercostal space. It isn't always easy to feel, but if you're right at the mid clavicular line and you feel the first real one you can dip into is going to be your second intercostal space, then third and then fourth. And then when you get to the fourth, you're just going to want to get those two put on either side in that void in the fourth intercostal space, which should be right there on both of them, okay? So what I would do is just shave here, shave here, and then you know you're going to have one here, one midclavicular here, right in that fold uh, that, that all humans have, male or female, and then you're going to be following it up like this around here. So the shave spot should be here, 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 and then a little bit here. So due to his hairy uh, chest, you'll have to shave quite a bit. Right. Uh, that's technically a shark. So once you're done with it, we will put it in the sharps container, okay? Just because there's a possibility of, of um, snagging a little bit of bio, you know, material on it. So we'll put this into the sharps. Alrighty. Okay. So we have V1 through V6 on there. V1 being our first placement which is going to be that fourth intercostal space. I could feel it right here. So that's the center of your blue dot should be right there. Good. And V2 is just exactly opposite that one. Just a little lower. It's kind of funny, isn't it? Maybe even a smidge lower, but it's okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, as we do these, I think you can get too keyed up on making it perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. It has to be close, though. Mm -hmm. We want to be relatively close, but um, this will definitely get you there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think if you ever think when you're putting these on, these are even with the nipple line, then you're wrong. They're not. They're supposed to be a little bit above the nipple line as far as the first two, the V1 and V2. All right. V4 is going to be mid clavicular and right in that crease right there. And this one's the awkward one on women sometimes. You're right, and you know also. Um, it would be on, kind of underneath the breast. Yeah. Right on that fold. Yeah, just so you guys know, like we used to be instructed that we had to take all bras off, and we don't anymore. We really just don't do that. Um, mainly to protect modesty and we get a good enough picture without worrying about that and the hospital will do it properly later they always redo our 12 leads anyway mm -hmm. but what we these two are usually pretty easy with a female you know you're maybe lifting up the shirt you're showing the bra but you're lifting up the shirt and you can get to these two pretty easy this one tends to be a tough one actually because the bra starts to loop up like this and you have to you have to kind of pull the bra away enough to get this one in V3 is almost the worst V4 you can get under the edge of that bra, actually kind of lift the edge of the bra just a little bit and put it right in the fold, usually. Okay. Now, in the, I say in the fold, but you don't want it to be in a crease so much that it doesn't actually, this blue dot portion doesn't touch skin. Right. You gotta be kind of careful. So sometimes it's just a smidge below that fold is where you end up putting it. You're not gonna put it up on the underside of the breast, you know, so it is a bit tricky, but a lot of times you have to kind of push up on the underside of that bra to get this one to sit just as far up as you can and still have it relatively flat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then V3 just goes between two and four. So that was really good input right there, being able to talk about lifting the bra to just get that four in there. Yeah. That, yeah. That, will, that kind of stuff will be very helpful. I actually tend to struggle with this one more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I'll be here and you'll have the shirt pulled up, you know, and this one you, you'll end up placing sometimes after just based on your logistics of putting these two in okay. and then trying to get this one there can be a little bit difficult pulling the edge of the bra away to get that stuck on okay. there. It's okay. kind of tough and usually the wire then has to come up this way, right? 
to do that. So, okay. mm -hmm. but I usually do this one from the top of the bra, and okay. then these will all be from the bottom. Bottom. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay, so go with six next, and six is mid axillary. So mid axillary line, and believe it or not, when your ribs go around, they they curve up like this. So you are kind of following that curve of the chest line. Yes, right there is good. And then the next one will just go between uh, four and six. V5 will just go in between. Good. So that is very good 12 lead placement right there. I would feel incredible about this. These are lateral. This is about as lateral as you can get without being on the hip bone, mm -hmm. which is good. And it's as low as you can get with the belt line. You could go a little bit lower. If his pants were a little lower, you could go a smidge lower than that to mm -hmm. be maybe a slightly more perfect. Okay. Um, but these I feel very good about.